Hello everyone, today tutorial is creating hex nut according to this bold catalogs, so, we can find here. It has M10 to M30 size. And hex heads thickness and across flat value. I use this data and going to create 3 type of hex nut Revit family. Let we start and go to Revit. Open a new family. Select and open generic model. Go to properties and let's start to set parameter first. Set a new parameter. Set a parameter for thickness of nut head. Select instance and OK. Another set parameter is across flat. Select instance and OK. Another set parameter is whole radius. Select instance and OK. Set a new family type. Across flat is 17, whole radius is 5 for M10, thickness of head is 6.63. Set a new family type for M10, another a new family type for M12, across flat is 19, thickness of head is 7.76, whole radius is 6 for M12, another a new family type for M14, thickness of head is 9.09, across flat is 22. Whole radius is 7 for M14. Apply and OK. Let's start to create a nut. Go create and choose the extrusion. Select polygon 6 sides. OK, let's check the family type and set for M10 first. Extrusion start at 0 and the end is as head thickness. So the extrusion end set parameter for head thickness and OK. And set dimension for across flat parameter. Set angles and lock it for balance when across flat parameter value are changed. If dimension and parameter too large, can go to scale and change the scale. For across flat, select the dimension and all set to across flat parameter. And check the parameter value for M10. OK and finish the extrusion. Check in 3D view. Change in fine and shade. Look OK. And create for a hole. Go to create, select void form and choose void extrusion. Draw a circle and the radius is set the whole radius parameter. The whole radius parameter value is 5 for M10. Void extrusion start at 0 and the end is set the same as head thickness parameter. Check in 3D view. Look good. Go to front view. Lining for edge. Before create the lining, set the reference line first. Select the reference line and create the similar. Offset from the existing line. Align the reference line to the object dimension and set a parameter to head thickness. Align the vertical reference line to the object. And start lining for edge. Go to create. Select void form. Choose void revolve. Draw the boundary line for void revolve. Show dimension and an angle. Angle set a parameter to adjust the lining slope. Set the axis line and finish the void revolve. Go to 3D view. Checked in 3D view, the lining slope is too much. So I going to edit the void revolve. Before edit the void, set some more horizontal reference line. 
select the void which is going to edit and realign the boundary line to the reference line. And finish the void editing. Go to 3D view and reduce the slope angle value to 53 degrees. Apply and OK. Go to front view to lining edge of another side of object. Select the existing void and mirror from the center of the object. Select and move the void to the reference line. Check in 3D view. Go to geometry and cut object with the void. Go to properties, and check the family type for M12. Apply. It is OK. Check for M14. Apply. It is OK. Thank you for watching.